Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have an Avon video for you today. I have, like, I got my hair cut finally and I colored it. And I have this like mole right here. Every time I color my hair, it stains the mole so it looks like a smudge or whatever from hair color, but it'll fade. But anyways, it's kind of short right now and I'm liking it because it is so hot everywhere, right? So today it's, our heat index is like 103. And this is a Michigan, you know, it's not supposed to be like this, so. Ugh. So I'm definitely glad I got it all chopped off. But anyways, um, I bought some new uh, lipsticks from Avon. I got five new of the um, Glimmer Satin lipsticks, and I thought I would show them to you. And um, then I thought, well, I'll show you my old ones too, just because you might be in the market for some, and fall's coming up, and I have a lot of fall shades. So I'm going to swatch lipsticks. So um, right now, now, I don't know if they're going to stay like this. Even though in the brochure they're $8.49, the lipsticks are $4.99 on my e-store. Um, I think they're celebrating National Makeup Day, and it might go through the weekend. Today is Saturday the 6th, so I, I don't know that for sure. I'm just saying that today when I'm filming, $4.99 for the lipsticks, okay? So, I'm a little warm. So, um, first I'm going to show you what I have on my face today. That's Avon, and I'll link all the makeup in the description section below. Um, discontinued item alert, but this is the um, Ideal Flawless Foundation from Avon. It's no good anymore. Well, not no good. It's discontinued, not available anymore. But I have uh, at least like a half a bottle here, and it's too good to not use. So, um, I have the Cashmere Complexion Concealer, and I think my shade is Marshmallow or Cheesecake. I can't remember. I'll link it in the description section below, but that's what I have on. <coughs> Excuse me for concealer, and I still have my thing going on, so I'll try not to cough too much or sniffle. I apologize in advance. Um, I have on my Cushion Blush, FMG Cushion Blush in Queen Carnation. Um, this is what that shade looks like. It is not that dark, um, but once you share these out, they're so pretty and I love them. So that's what I have on. And then I have on the Eyeshadow Quad in Muse today, and I have all four shades on my eyes today. This is such a pretty shade. I know there's a reflection, a glare, whatever you want to call it. Sorry about that. But yeah, I have all four shades on today, and I love this quad. This one stays in my makeup bag. So I keep all my makeup, my Avon makeup, makeup separate. So when I'm doing Avon videos, I can reach for it, and it's all right there for me. I keep this in my makeup bag all the time, like my everyday bag, because I really like this a lot. All right, this is another product that I keep in my makeup bag a lot, too, and this is the Magix Blur. Oh, um, now I think it's called something else. It's not Magix. Match, I think is what it's called. So this is that primer, and I mentioned this. I filmed my um, Campaign 18 video uh, the other day, and I mentioned in it that I love this primer, and they give you this little sponge to put on the primer with, only I don't use that. So I'm going to show you guys because I talked about it in the video. If I can get the sponge out. There we go. So here's the little sponge that they give you to use, which is perfectly fine. I did use the sponge. But what I use is this little brush from e.l.f. So this is the e.l.f. Um, putty Primer. I think it says Putty Primer and Blush. Putty Primer Applicator is what it says. Okay, so it's just this little brush from e.l.f., right? And what I do is, and it's made for their e.l.f. brand putty primer, but it's the same, like, consistency, the same type of product as this. And I just swirl it in here, and then I, like, kind of buff it all over my face. The application is so smooth, and it works so well. Now, they even have a little scoop on the end of it, so you can scoop some out and then apply it but I just like to stick my brush right in there swirl it around and then I buff it on it works so well I also use this brush to blend out my cushion blush so I dotted it on my face and then I use this brush and I blend out I love this little brush. It works so well with our cushion blushes and this primer balm. Oh my gosh, so nice. So I am going to link that brush if I'm able to in the description section below. Again, it's not by Avon. It's from e.l.f., but um, it works so well. I love it. Absolutely love it. 
Okay, also from Avon, I have on the VDL Eye Primer in the Brightening Formula, and I have our Glimmer Stick in Raisin. This is the one I'm wearing today in my upper and lower water lines. Also, this top, really, really cute, is from Avon, and if it should be available right now, if it's not, I won't link it, but if I still see it, I'll search and I'll see. I have it in a 1X. I love it. I love it. It's got these long tassels with the little fringe on the bottom. Really, really cute. Um, you don't have to tie them. I have them tied today just because it brings the neck together, and I think it looks so pretty. I do have a black bra on, so you can kind of see the lace, but through it, lace, but oh, I just think it's so pretty. Anyways, Avon Glimmer... Um, stick but they're not called glimmer stick anymore eyeliner and raisin so and then the top i'll link that also okay so we're going to talk about the avon glimmer satin lipsticks that i have i'm gonna stop talking and start swatching i have all this money for you guys so um, i'm gonna put my glasses on and i left them in the box the new ones anyways because it's easier to tell you what shade they are um when and, and these avon these earrings are not from avon just so you know they're uh, i got those at lane bryant um, okay, so this is the shade I have on today. This one is called Morning Glory. Yeah, the boxes are really easy to read what the shade is versus what's on the bottom. The bottom is so hard to read because they have a, a number, product number across the bottom. I don't know why they did that. But anyways, this is the shade Morning Glory, and it is so perfect to go with. It's kind of like a like a mauve nude shade. I think it goes so well with this Muse Quad. <clears throat> I'm going to show them to you side by side so that you guys can see how well it pairs with that quad. Really, really, really nice. They were like meant to go together, right? It's fabulous. So this is the one I have on today and we're going to swatch it for you right here. I'm going to try to not make my swatches be too wonky. So that is morning glory now i really have been liking these lipsticks a lot um my one complaint about them that you guys have heard me say is that uh it's so hard to read the names on the bottom when you have a lot but also i don't think that they really match the swatch in the brochure so that's why i think these um videos are really important to see actual swatches of them just because they don't look the same they don't look in the brochure like they look when you get them um, and they also don't necessarily look in the tube like they're gonna be so this is wild cherry do you see how dark that looks really terrifying right especially for somebody that doesn't like bright colors or anything watch this when I swatch it do you see what I'm saying so that's wild cherry you would not get that that this was the the shade you know it's just absolutely does not look like it would be the shade so that's wild cherry very excited for that one I'm excited for all of them. And like I told you, I did the try-on um, feature on the East Store. I try, I did that. It was a lot of fun. I had a good time. This one is Nova. So this is another one that's going to look really, really scary, you guys. Don't freak out. I almost wore this one for the video, but then I really wanted that Morning Glory. So here is another one. Looks dark. It looks almost the same as Wild Cherry in the tube, right? So this is Nova. Let me come up a little bit more there. My swatches are not exactly the tidiest, but still. So that's Nova, which we all know is Avon spelled backwards, right? Just a nice deeper berry shade here. So these are the new ones that I got in with my last order. I have two more to show you, then I'll go into the ones I already had. This next one is Luna, which is a beautiful shade. I think a lot of people are gonna want this one beautiful beautiful shade it looks just kind of like a boring type brown doesn't it but once you swatch it's so pretty I just don't understand let me come further up here there's Luna so if the swatches look weird that's my fault it's not the lipstick so that's Luna okay really really nice 
I just, I've never seen a group of lipsticks not really match what's in the tube more than these. But I love the formula of them. I think they're great. I just wish they were more true to what they look like. So this one is Celestial, and I think this one is a beautiful one. Also that a lot of people will really like. Um, kind of just looks like a deeper, warm brown shade. In the tube but once you get it on the arm or on your lips see doesn't really match but it's a beautiful shade so that's celestial okay gorgeous gorgeous and again I'm wearing the morning glory shade all right, <clears throat> now I'm gonna get in I think in the future what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write out the names and I'm gonna tape it along the bottom because I can't read these to save my life. I can't read these. So I'm actually going to wipe these off because I don't want to get this all over my, I'm sitting at my kitchen table. I don't want to get these all over my pioneer woman tablecloth. I would be very upset if I did that. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe it off here with a wipe. We will say goodbye to these shades. I'm going to let that sit for just a second. They're going to stain obviously. Not too bad. Okay, there we go. We can do that. All right, let's see what this next one is. <clears throat> I do have a brochure handy so that if I can't tell you what it is, I might be able to look into the tube and then color match. This one is... Sandstorm. Guess we're gonna need that brochure after all. I'm telling you. I don't know why they did this, but they printed the names on the bottom and it's tiny as it is, and then they put the product number over it in like red, and you can't see what it is. So this one is Windstorm. Windstorm. Here we have Windstorm. So that's windstorm there. All right. Next one is Sierra Sunset, and this is one I like. I wear this one quite a bit. So this one's Sierra Sunset. Really, really pretty. This is kind of like an everyday. I did have this one in my bag. Let me make sure you can see it good. So that's Sierra Sunset. Really nice brown shade. And then this one is Firebolt, I believe. Firebolt, so this is a red. Really, really bright, very pretty. Firebolt. Is that why Harry's Potter's broom is a fire? No. Nimbus. And then he gets a fireball, right? So that's Firebolt. Next, we have Earth Angel. This one, kind of a hard shade, I think, for a lot of people to pull off, but I wanted to give it a shot, anyways. Earth Angel. I have just about all of them now. I think there's some on, on the wait list right now. <clears throat> one of them I want to try is Equinox. And I think that one's on wait list. This one is when... No? Okay. I did something wrong here. This one is Windstorm. So one of these other ones that I showed you. Leave it to me to figure, to mess it up. So that one's Earth Angel. 
that one's Firebolt, so we know it's not that one. Maybe I bought two Windstorms. This one is... Hmm. I don't know what this one is. That's very strange. What could this one be? We're going to leave it out for now. And then this one is the Sierra Sunset. Okay, so this one's Windstorm. We'll figure out what that one is. The mystery shade. So this one is Windstorm. Unless I accidentally have two of them. Are these the same? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got two of the same, you guys. I wouldn't put that past me. No, those aren't the same. So this one's Windstorm. Oops, twisted it the wrong way. Leave it to me to always have a mess. All right, so I'm going to clean this part up, and then we'll swatch the rest of them. Yeah, I don't know what that is. We'll have to investigate more when I, once I, I've got four more, and then I'll figure out. We'll get back to the mystery shade here. Okay. The next one is... Wildflower, very pretty shade, very, very pretty. Wildflower, really, really nice there. And some of those browns do look similar to each other. I'm not exactly sure why they did that, but, um, This one is Snowbird, Songbird, sorry, not Snowbird, Songbird. Songbird, very pretty. Songbird. I love these brighter shades, they really appeal to me. This one is Poppy. This is another one I like. I wore this one in a video not long ago. Classic orangey shade, which I love an orange lipstick, especially for summer. I love orange. Poppy. Very pretty. And then the last one I have is... The last one I have is Hibiscus. Hibiscus. Very pretty also. Hibiscus. So there is Hibiscus. So some of the shades you can see are kind of similar. Like Hibiscus is similar to this one on the end. <clears throat> some of them not as much. But I really, really like this um, formula. I like this whole collection. You know, I enjoy. So I'm going to wipe this off and then we'll see if we can figure out what that mystery shade is. Unless I just have two of the same one. Windstorm, Earth Angel, Fog, Cyclone. It's not Desert Moon. Maybe it's, I don't know. All right, let's try it again. We're going to take a deeper look at this, examine it. I think it's fog now that I look at it. Fog. Did I say that it was fog? I don't know, you guys. Fog. That's fog. I can tell that it's fog. So now let's look at windstorm and fog next to each other and see. So this one's fog. That 
Jen's fireball. Let me see. Just talk amongst yourselves. Earth Angel. Let's see how that one looks. Yeah, that's the difficult one, so that's not it. We're looking for a windstorm. We want to compare fog and windstorm to each other. This one is windstorm. Okay, so remember, this one is fog. And that one's windstorm. Okay, so windstorm is lighter, I would say. Slightly lighter. But they're awfully similar, aren't they? Boy, they are awfully similar. Anyways, now that we've got that cleared up. <laughs> so that is what I have to show you today as far as these lipsticks are concerned. So like I said, I think I have just about all of them. Let me see. I've got two, four... Six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. I have fourteen, and there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's thirty shades, so I only have half of them. Why did I say I think I have all, most of them? I've got half. Isn't that funny? Well, there were some ones I didn't pick because I knew, like, um, you know. I just, like, they were some, like, really light baby pink that I knew that uh, Rose Angel. I didn't think I would use that one um, much. But, yeah, maybe I'll end up getting them all. Who knows at, at some point. But I just thought I would show them to you, the ones I got uh, with my campaign 17 order. And we are on campaign 18 now. So, yeah, really fun, though. I like these lipsticks a lot. I like the formula. They're very comfortable to wear. They... You know, they wear nice, I think, and I really enjoy them. So uh, hopefully you can get it on that $4.99 price. Like I said, some of them are on back order right now or wait list, but uh, hopefully that will be cleared up soon and um, you can get some good lippies for fall. And I don't know, pretty exciting. I'm already, it's, it's it may be 103 with the heat index and, and uh, August on the calendar, but in my head it's Halloween. So... <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Question or comment below. Check the description box for the links to everything that's on my face as well as um, I'm going to try to find a link to this um, little brush from e.l.f. that I find so handy. And um, I will link the Glimmer Satin Lipsticks below also. Uh, they're all under the same link. You just get to the link and then you pick your shade. That's how that works. So um, I just hope you found the swatches helpful and I will see you in the next video.